Right, so Noella is in with showbiz, not Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, like I, yeah, yeah I am. Okay, so uh, what's coming up in, in showbiz? So uh, CNN is out with a list of top 10 biggest artists in Africa. And right. you'd be amazed to know Ghanaian artists made it to that list. In Africa? Yeah. Top you mean there's no Sakodier, there's no Stoneboy, there's no, no, no Shatawali? No, no. no, not at all. So let's check out the, the list uh, the, or the artists which made the list. And of course, number one is Burner Boy. Uh, number two is Angelique Kijo. Number three is... Um, of course, platinum, diamond, platinum. Number four is Yemi Alade. Number five is uh, Tiwa Savage. Number six, Biscuit. Number seven is, um, of course, Mr. Easy. Number eight is South African singer Sho Mudzoji. And uh, number nine is Busiwa, who's also South African, and this is a Zambian rapper. Okay, but hold it. Uh, can't we say that Mr. Mm. Easy is. You know, no, no, no. Mr. Easy is a Ghanaian based Nigerian artist. I mean, the fact that he started his music career here uh, doesn't mean we can claim him. We can't claim him. How? Yeah. But, okay. <laughs> so basically, on social media. But have they indicated how they came by this? Please. No. No, they haven't. So it was just an article because it's indicating, curious. yeah, of course. And a lot of people are asking, okay, what criteria yeah. were these artists, you know, selected, and how come no Ghanaian made it to that list? I mean, it's a sad news for us. But uh, you know, this in its form is uh, some sort of a recognition, uh, yes. same as you know, I mean, yeah, They're yeah, recognized as one of the top ten in of Africa. Of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, Ghana Music Awards award can also be another form of recognition, same as Afrima yeah. and maybe you know the Grammys. But uh, one artist who doesn't really care about all these kind of recognition is a uh, mental one of, of the F FOK and boys. I had a conversation with him. Why am I surprised? <laughs> basically, he says, you know, mad people they can't be bothered about anything. Of course, they, they're not bothered at all. I mean, I had a very exciting I mean, conversation with them. And for him, he says, mad people appreciating your songs is just it for them. This whole music thing, being a musician, is a growth. I mean, the greatest musicians always look back to a point where their lives, you know, they're like, how did I make this music? Like, this is so bad, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, like, what was I thinking? Why did I think it was okay for me to release this music and so on and so forth? So for me, it's like, the biggest reward is, is to continue growing until I can't physically make any music anymore. And you know, that, award is just another human being mm -hmm. deciding that they're going to uh, um, give you a nod for your hard work. Okay. But if the people like, if I write something and I get a, a crazy response from one love, he's like, damn, that is my award. Because he's somebody I look up to or somebody I respect musically. So if you, but who is this company that doesn't create music the way I do, go through my processes, telling me whether my music is, is, is a quotable quote or not? Like, how do you, who gave you that power? Do you see what I'm saying? I don't. They've got a board, a board so which insists of music makers or people who make their own music that I don't respect or I don't, I don't use the word respect, but they don't have any real impact in my creative life. Mm -hmm. So if somebody like my mom, who's like questioning what I'm doing with my life, finally says, "This is really dope. I like this," then I'm like, "Yeah, thank you. Finally." Or you know, some girl I like, or my wife, or my children, or whatever, you know, are singing my song in their sleep. These are little things. It's just our own outlook on life and how we want to reward ourselves, you know, with things, Gratif gratification. Yeah. One chance, one life, we all one red track, back, back, movement. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I see. You see? Yeah. <laughs> well, his other counterpart, uh, One Love, also believes most of the songs that most musicians churn out today are one way. There's no diverse topics, you know, they uh, tackle in your music. Music, people, a lot of people are treating music like the way people sell, let's say, tomatoes at Makola. Somebody sees that, oh, tomatoes is, being, is selling fast, mm -hmm. so they also want to sell tomatoes. So instead of doing a song that comes to them like inspirationally, and this is what I feel like doing, they'll look at the next person and see what song they did that is selling, and they'll go and do some. And then it's easy to, for the DJ to just add that one and keep going. And they also have, of course, there's also that system that you have to oil the wheels. So when they come, they also see the DJ, oh, my song is just like the song you are playing, oh, so play it. Here's something for pure water, that kind of thing. So you just have a lot of songs 
that sound the same. Per what you just said, it makes me want to question why you do music then, because some, some, some musician somewhere would want to, you know, do music to help his finances. Yeah, so first of all, the people at some, I think like a lot of people that are doing that, mm -hmm. most of the time you find out they are not really musicians in the sense that they can't really sing in key and so on, but there's software like auto-tune that can make them sound like they sing well and so on and so forth. So they just seen that hey, if I do music and I put this money down and promote it here and here, I can get you, I can get money. So they see it as a business opportunity. Why I'm doing it, I, I feel like maybe apart from interviews and when I write, when I, I'm among people and I'm speaking about things that are on my mind or something that I want change or some kind of problem or whatever, I feel like I don't get the same focus and attention as when I make a song out of it. And so, and so, in a way, that's also become a therapy for me. I say I love you, my baby. She said I know they work no more. An impression that both of them came out to, you know, throw jabs at people. <laughs> Because oh, one was talking about yeah. some award scheme, yeah. and then yeah. the other was talking about people who don't really know how to sing. They can't sing in, in key. <laughs> really? They just depend on auto tune. But that'll be all for showbiz. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Noella, for bringing us uh, showbiz. That'll be awesome.